In Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says to his disciple Peter, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. A couple of chapters later, Yeshua says something very similar to his disciples. What are the most common explanations and teachings about these binding and loosing verses that one hears today? Most people assume it has something to do with spiritual warfare and binding the devil. Indeed, the surrounding context is about disciples' authority, only the devil is not involved here. In reality, binding and loosing are known technical legal expressions in the ancient Jewish world. To bind is to restrict, to confine, to limit, and in legal sense, to forbid something, like tying with a rope. On the opposite side, to loose is to unbind, to untie, to free, to release, which in legal sense means to permit something, a relaxing of existing rules. Here's an example from a first century Jewish historian Flavius Josephus. He writes that under Queen Alexandra of Jerusalem, the Pharisees, quote, became the administrators of all public affairs as to be empowered to banish and readmit whom they pleased, as well as to loose and to bind. Josephus said that Pharisees had the authority to loose and to bind, and no, not demons or Satan. When Jesus used this terminology, in the Gospels he did not speak about prayer or spiritual warfare either. The context is legal, and the terms should be interpreted through first century Jewish context. Just like the Pharisees in Josephus' quote, Yeshua's disciples were given a right to legislate, a right to make rules and norms, allowing and forbidding things in their own community. And that is binding and loosing first century style.